This video is a demonstration of my integration and debugging support in the Zero Brain development environment for Lua. This is how it works. Let's say you have a MOI application you want to debug. In this case I will use one of the samples with two Lua files that came with MOI. Zero Brain Studio IDE includes support for MOI, which you need to enable by going to Project, Lua Interpreter, and then selecting uh, the MOI application. The IDE will try to find your MOI executable by checking the folders you included in path and MOI bin environment variables. If none of those folders has the executable, you can specify the location in the user.lua file. Like this. To debug your script, you select Start Debugging. And the application will uh, run. To stop the application so that you can actually do some debugging, you set a breakpoint. And then when it's launched, you can see that the application is suspended at the breakpoint. From that point, you can step through your code. You can look at stack and variable information. You can see the values, for example, go to remote console and see the value of the variable. And you can set breakpoints. Let's say I want to break when there is a click detected. So I'll go to the callback and let's say I want to put a breakpoint here. Now we can continue the application. And when I click, you can see that it's detected and the application is suspended at the breakpoint. Now I, I can look at the peak table. Actually, peak list table. And you can see that there are several values printed. You can even print it in a nicer way, like this. So if I want to look at peak dot name, I can either go to the console or I can open the watch window and add the variable here or the expression here. I can also modify the values. Let's say I want to change the value of peak name to something else. New sprite, perhaps. You can see that the values actually change here. And if you inspect it here again, you'll see the new value. And if you execute the print statement, the print statement will also print the new value as you would expect. This ability gives you an easy way to suspend your script, inspect the values, modify them as needed, and then continue the script execution. You can then continue with the application, and when you're done, you can simply close it. Go to Zero Brain Studio download page and give it a try for the project on GitHub and see what else you can do with it. Thank you.